What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here, and I'm going to do a mail recap for the week. Got a really awesome care package from Brian, a.k.a. at Collecting Cutch. You can find him on Twitter and Instagram. I follow Brian on Instagram. I am not on Twitter, but he's got a fantastic Andrew McCutcheon collection, and Brian reached out to me about a week ago, and he told me, oh, no, actually, probably about a month ago, and he told me he's thinning down his collection, and he wanted to send a few of his Bonds cards out my way. So I'll show a quick recap of what Brian sent me. And Brian, thank you, man. Awesome. Love it. And guys, if I can, I'll put a, a link down below to Brian's Instagram and Twitter well, at least Instagram. I'll, I'll, uh, you can find him there. So check him out. Check out his collection of Andrew McCutcheon cards. Just off the hook. Man, some of these uh, modern player collections are amazing. Modern cards are amazing. So there we go. So Brian, thank you for the note as well, man. That'll go be going into my card collecting community PC. I say that because Brian does not make YouTube videos as do a lot of people that I've connected with. So here are some of the highlights of what Brian sent my way. We got this beautiful 88 Opeachy, Barry Bonds, and then this 92 MVP, four-time MVP. At the time, Bonds only had four MVPs. Of course, he ended his career with seven. Check that card out, 88 Baseball's Best Donruss. Love that card. And then that's a classic right there, an old-school upper deck insert. And I love this card. I think these were inserts in rack packs. Series 1 were insert in rack packs. These are not easy to find. This is from Score. Young Superstars, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Young Superstars. That, that card is beautiful. They're high gloss stock. Great looking cards. And then we got a couple of 91 Fleer inserts. Those are awesome, man. Love the black borders. And then um, uh, Home Run History, number 125. And I got a big kick out of this card here, Deadpool. If anybody knows more about these cards, comment down below. But I, I did make an interesting observation. It says Fleer here, but the card itself is actually an Upper Deck card. So I'm guessing that Upper Deck owns the rights to the Fleer brand, which I had no idea. That's interesting. But anyways, comment down below if you know more about that card. But it'll look good in my Barry Bonds kind of cartoon, non-Barry Bonds, but it's Barry Bonds PC, if, if you guys know what I mean. Maybe I'll take a photo of what, what I'm talking about uh, at the end of this video. We'll see. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll take a photo of all those cards. So we got that. And then Brian also sent me a bunch of uh, cool rookies. Oh, man, that 87 Fleer is so well-centered. These are tough to find centered. That's a crispy example. And then an 87 uh, Tops Glossy Sendin'. Love this card right here. Pablo Sandoval having it out with the Pittsburgh Parrot. Guys, if you know the name of this mascot, comment down below. I don't know the name of that mascot, but it makes sense, right? You got the Pirates and a Parrot. Every, every Pirate has a Parrot on his shoulder. There we go, 87 Donruss, an 86 Sport Flix, and then check that out. Mr. Andrew McCutcheon, jersey card from Tops Tier 1. That's awesome, man. Love that card. And then we got a then and now. This card is just fantastic. And it shows Bonds in a Pittsburgh and a Giants uniform. Whoa. But this is a National Treasures patch card. Look at that awesome patch. Numbered 4 of 15. Man, that's just a gorgeous card. Wow. So, Brian, man, I love this card. Love them all, but this card, wow. That, 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 that was a wow card. Here, I'm going to put that on the top. So, we got those. And then Brian also sent me additional... Uh, well, he sent me some McCutcheon cards. Man, those cards are cool. Uh, at least get another binder page out of those. And then a bunch of other nice Bonds cards. So, man, those are fantastic. He had mentioned that, um, Brian had mentioned he knew about all the copyright variations 
on the older junk wax card. So I will see if I can find any copyright variations. And if I can, I'll be able to add another card into the Bonds PC. If I do find copyright variations, I will kind of update you guys because I always get a kick out of those. And then this is a nice refractor. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Nice cut refractor. And then I got a few eBay pickups. Man, check this out. A nice, I love that image of Bonds. I bought this card more because it's rare than for the, uh, because it's a relic card. It's more just, th this card is just pretty rare. Nice upper deck base relic card. So cool there. Love that image. It's a great looking card. Man, sometimes the black and white images are stunning. And then you got the color action photo in the background. Anyways, I, I really like that card. And then... It's not a mail week for me lately without a shiny Mike Trout. So there's my shiny Mike Trout for the week. <laughs> Love collecting Trout. Now that baseball's back, man, I can't wait to see him play in 2022. Stay healthy, Trout. And this card is a color match, a red for the Angels, and then it is numbered to 149. I'm pretty sure this is called the Red Flash. Comment down below. I may be wrong. It's going to be hard to pick up the shine in here. I'm recording this video in my living room, which I typically record it in a place that is better for shine. But I knew I, I only had one shiny card, so I decided to make the video in the living room. And then the last pickup I got for the week, man, these are awesome. I actually bought these a while ago, but I forgot to put them on my last mail recap video. But these are premiums from the San Francisco Giants. And these are from, I believe, 1997. You got Rob Nen there, you got Barry Bonds, and there's also a Brian Johnson card that came with this lot. And that's how I was able to date what year these were from. Awesome cards. And I asked the seller, where do you get these from? And the reason why I did that is there are four people that I know of that collect bonds that have at minimum 5,000 cards, four people, including myself that I talk to regularly. I know of a, two other collections that have 5,000 or more bonds, unique bonds cards in their collection. But the other three guys I talk to regularly, none of them have this card. So that tells me it's very rare. And I reached out to the seller and I said, where did these come from? And he said that he did a TTM request to all the baseball teams asking for free giveaway items. And this is what he received in return. And then I put a picture of these on Facebook and asked if anybody knew where they came from. And they, uh, I got a response that they were also included in the programs that you buy at the ballpark. They were inserted into programs, these cards. And they were also available, like if you go to Visa or MasterCard and fill out like a credit card application, these are free gifts for filling out a credit app card application. But evidently, not a lot of them survived. And the stock on these are like a photo stock, which I found interesting on the front. It's like a, a glossy photo stock paper. And then the back is just a, like a thick paper stock. So very interesting. Really thrilled to have that in my collection, though. It's not something you see every day and evidently pretty rare. So that's it. That's my mail week. Mostly stuff that Brian sent me, but some cool eBay pickups as well. So I'm going to go out with these three right here. And thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, until next time, ha! Happy collecting!